What's up, y'all? I got Michael B over here. And uh, we're going to be playing some Ikoria Standard in the streamer event, in the uh, early access streamer event from Wizards of the Coast. This is a sponsored stream, so thank you, Wizards of the Coast. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate the opportunity to play with these sweet Ikoria cards a little ahead of the curve. And uh, this is a sweet Mutato deck that we were just that we were sent. I don't know if it's any good. We're going to find out. But we've lost to a couple Mutate decks, so maybe that's... Maybe that's an indication. We got four Gilded Goose and four Paradise Druid. Uh, these are both to ramp any color and also to mutate onto. Mutating onto Hex Druid is nice. Or Paradise Druid because of the Hex Proof. Mutating onto Gilded Goose is nice because of the flying. Uh, we also have Baby Godzilla, otherwise known as Polywog Symbiote. Symbiote? Uh, each creature spell you cast costs one less to cast if it has Mutate. So it lowers the cost of all your Mutate guys. <coughs> give him a chance to do that whenever you cast a creature spell if it has mutate draw a card then discard a card um he's he's gonna die here uh then we have four tempting nars i don't trumpeting nar when this creature mutates create a three three green beast creature token so i'm not sure if that's great but i guess it could be fine I'm feeling like larry david uh mythos <coughs> mythos of Nethroy. Uh, we also have Nethroy over here. The wording on that card is very confusing. Destroy target not only permanent if it's a creature or if green or white was spent to cast this spell. Now you can read that as destroy target not only permanent if it was a creature or play or play green white if it's a creature anyway. I know it means it can be a, a, a non land permanent. Right. But it's worded very weirdly. It is. I, I agree with you. I was like. Yeah, I was trying to read it the other day, and I was like, that's weird. But, I mean, like, it's just three mana to kill any creature, it or be three mana, three mana to kill any destroy creature. Destroy target non-land permanent, permanent if it's a creature. Or if green-white <laughs> was spent on this, you can target any non-land permanent. Right? Mythos to Nathroy is the new heavens to Murgatroyd. Oh, my God. Really? Really, Michael? Well, am I going to lie to you about not knowing the reference? It's friggin' oh! Heavens to Murgatroyd! Heavens to Murgatroyd! <laughs> there you go. No mythos to Nethroy. I mean, I understand his voice and I get the idea, but I can't remember the actual words of that character. We have two dirge bats, which are Batra Dark Destroyer, which are just fucking. I, I'm so. They look so sweet. I love all of these Godzilla really shows arts, it off. dude. It really does. You're like one, two, three, four, five, six of them. Um. Yeah. So. Me and Rob didn't think this was that great, but it's actually pretty decent. It's just you mutate it onto a guy with flash. You just get to kill something in response. It kills a planeswalker or a creature. It's pretty decent, I guess. Also, like you can flash it in early to kill like, a Teferi or something, right? Or you just no, um, no, because well, you got to mutate it. It's when his creature mutates. No, but like you can flash it in EOT. And, oh wait, Teferi doesn't let you do that. Teferi doesn't let you do wow. that. Wow, God, that card's so. Ugh. Please take it away. King Caesar mutates it. It's a three-five double strike. Whenever this creature mutates, it deals four damage to a creature or planeswalker, and you gain four, which is also pretty good death sprout is probably one of my favorite removal spells uh it's just expensive so it doesn't see a ton of play but four mana kills anything destroy a creature and then you put a basic land onto the battlefield and then we saw Ghidorah earlier exile cards from the top of your library so you exile a non-land permanent card uh and then you put it on the battlefield then you have biolante otherwise known as netheroy when this creature mutates return any number of creature cards with total power 10 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield that's a lot this guy costs seven to mutate. This guy costs six. This guy costs five. Brokos can be mutated from anywhere. So in the late game, if you top deck a Gilded Goose and you have a Brokos in the graveyard, you can just mutate onto the Gilded Goose. You get a six-six flyer out of it. And uh, then we got all the basic lands and the lands over here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six basics. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five. We should have seven basics. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then uh, seven tricycle lands. <laughs> Seventeen tricycle lands. See, look at this. I have Baby Godzilla, and then it switches it to this thing. What is this? Five color mutate? The only downside of this deck I'm seeing is that all your lands basically come into play tapped. Well, Michael. Sometimes you gotta... You gotta know when to hold them, and then you gotta know when to fold them. Heavens to Mercatroid. Um, Katie's probably gonna go to that house around six, so we're gonna... We can check it out. Okay. Oh yeah, this is the hand. You got turn turn two baby turn one gilded goose. We can play a turn two baby Godzilla if we want to. 
Has Mike B even ever even held them? No. You know what it means. You know. Get busy honking, Michael. Oh, that's interesting. Which land do we want here? We got uh, Sultai and Baby Blue. Could play this guy, but I think we're probably just gonna play another goose. I get my goose on. Huh? The golden goose is on the loose. Cause next time we can play a four drop. That's we don't have a good one, I guess. Next time we'll just play baby guns. Huh? Oh, cool! You can see their companion. What does that mean? What are you saying right now? What are you saying right now, puppy they dog got guys? A companion. Where is? I don't see a companion. Oh, this. I gotcha. Oh, so they're running all artifacts, I guess. Well, that's interesting. Well, yeah, I would hope so. Otherwise, it's like... That should be public info, right? Well, so far, it could technically be creatures. But so far, it could technically be bleep, say, bleep, blap, bleep, 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 No, they don't have to tell you what's in their deck. You just... If they ever play a non... Whatever. Well, I know they're not going to have removal, I guess. So that's cool. There's no artifact removal? No, uh... Niv or... I guess they could have a meteor giant on seven. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna end the turn. No nev disc. <clears throat> the new icons on the creatures. I don't know what you're saying. Oh, these. Yeah, that's not bad. This is a tap. This means it taps. And this is a float. And this is three dots. And they're like, you know what? There's some stuff going on here. You should just check it out. I wonder if Neverill's disc would be good enough to play today. Oh, it's your boy. This is the card me and Rob were discussing at length about up, how fucking hard money. it is to... Well, it's easy online, but... Happy birthday, Mike B. Oh, Kirkland Signature. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Michael B really appreciates it. I guess if you only have plus one, plus one counters, then you always get plus one, plus one counters. What? No, it does... What, what are you saying right now? Because you get a random counter, and if you only have plus one, plus one counters, it's always just going to get a plus one, plus one counter, right? Well, no. It gets one that it doesn't have. Oh, okay. Pass. Are you tagging with your stony boy? One, two, three. We have six mana next turn. That's pretty good, right? We can just play Brokos. Brokos. No blocks. Oh, wow. There's a lot of lands we're drawing here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. We can put this on a thing, I guess. <coughs> this guy costs five to mutate. That seems like it's so much. Yeah, I didn't think that card was good. Uh, discard. Yeah, let's get rid of the this one. Well, I was like, what didn't we? What did we draw? I was like, oh, we just drew another triumph. This is a lot of tap lands. Uh, no attacks. Dot 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 does equal RTFC. They're just like, you know what? Just just read it. Oh, look at this artifact deck. This is wild, man. Oh boy. They gonna tap in response? There you go. Weird if it's... This is getting a bit out of hand. You know, it is. What does this guy have now? Vigilance and Trample? Alright, I guess we'll block this. Oh, because it gets Fudge! I just should, should, should have been in front, too. I forgot they didn't... Oh my god. Well, I think...
think that's the game. No, I don't like it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like it. I think there's way too many there's way too many tap lands in this deck. I'm really disappointed not having the Mecha Godzilla alternate for Yeah, well, you know what? They have no class, so it's really you just gotta Oh, they don't have it on the internet? On the arenas? Um, I mean we're probably gonna No, they do. What are you talking about? Oh, the mad because the opponent doesn't have it, right? Yeah, Michael. Get your, get your fucking head in the, out of the garbage can, Michael. You understand? Look, it's right no. there. Look how much better that is. It's a lot better. It's like unbelievably better. Like the art is just strictly better, right? Look at it. It's like, like even if it's not Godzilla, like that's just cooler art. Well, yeah, but it is Godzilla, so it's just even so like better, you know? Cool. Yeah, it's unbelievable. One big dino boy or some little bots. Let's take out each one of each of these lands. Actually, I'm going to say take out two of each of these lands, to be honest with you. And then we're just going to add a bunch. We're going to add... I wish I could... I, I wish I could shock land. No. No. <laughs> okay, I don't want basics. I do want... I don't know how to find... I'm going to be honest. You got to unselect all the colors and then select... <laughs> the gold ring? Yeah. And then the land. There you go. All right. No, right? There's no lands here, right? Like, they would have been in the front, right? Like, Why are the shocks not there? I don't understand. Okay, here we go. Yeah, see, Mike doesn't... Like, what? No, look, they're all gone. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. I cannot understand. I don't want the basics here, right? Like, that's what I don't want. Okay, this is what I want. We're going to go one stomping... You're on color? Okay, so if I take... Yeah, okay, but now look. I took off colorless. You have to click the gold and then the land. And then select unselect all the colors. In theory? Oh, there we Jesus. go. Jesus. It's such a... T it's such now a... you gotta it's, take out the red, too, because it's only gonna show you the red ones now. It just doesn't feel intuitive. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just... I Maybe I'm just old... I don't understand your fancy land system. Did I get an overgrown tomb yet? No. I'm gonna get one of each of these. Temple. Oh. Temple garden. Breeding pool. Sacred foundry. And what are we missing? We're missing one. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, do we get blood crypt? No. I just want to be young again. What if... I mean, like... Okay, so I think we have too many of these big, fat 6,000 mana creatures. I think there's too many of these. I think we need some octopuses in here. Is there any earlier removal spells? That start before 3? No, man. What, are you crazy? No, what? That's not what we're looking for here at all. Octo Prophet. Just stop it. Three of this guy, and we'll take out one of each of these guys. All right, let's see if this does anything different. We want you, we want you, we want you as a new recruit. You know, what's that song? In so the, the Manabase City is super wacky. What is super wacky? The mana base. It's not, it's not ideal. One of each shock, one of each try, one of each basic, go. Well, there's some basics and shocks that there are two of. Come on. Don't be like this. Oh, man, you only added one of each shock. I've seen you do it. Yes, but no, but the basics and the tries, I mean, that's what I meant. Oh. In the Navy, you can sail the Michael B's in the Navy. What is this? Village people? I'm playing this Godzilla. You ready for it? Yeah, you ready. Also, like... Do they really make it you have to loot and not just draw a card like from this guy? Yeah. Oh man, that that's... wouldn't be too strong, right? Come on. Michael, it would be broken. Red? No, nope, that's not. I'm just gonna know it. No attacks. <laughs> get him. Go get him, baby Godzilla.
Also, I think this deck has the new cards problem. What's that? Where you just play a bunch of new cards. You just jam all the new ones? ones? Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Why? You, you call it a problem. I call it... You know. I don't. I don't I, actually. I don't either. have any idea what you mean. <laughs> Shut up, Michael. Don't play right. the wrong one. I think it's this one. Uh, discard a card? Yeah, we'll get rid of, uh, land, perhaps? <laughs> <coughs> this dude is Brokos. Now Baby Godzilla's getting in there. I call it to your fun as well. Nailed it. In the mic, bees. You can live with Michael B. In the mic, bees. He just has... He has his own disease in the mic, B. Also, I like how much you sing and mention me when streaming and I'm not here. Whatever, man. You don't. Where does Mike be? In the garbage can. He can sail into the seas. All right. This is a lot of nonsense that you're doing here. What does this guy do? Six, six. Will we just make him double strike? One, two, three, four. Uh, so we can play this. Get in there with this guy. You have trample? Oh, you do have trample? Fuck, that's so good. I also have lifelink too, right? No, just no, all strike. Okay. Still gonna be... You got flash? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Whoops! Oh, mistakes were made. Now they can just kill your dude. Well, no, I got this. I still got Mythos of <clears throat> Nethroi. Oh, they're not even doing it. You only draw cards, man? Deals four damage to a creature or planeswalker. Um, I want to. Do I? I'm, I'm not sure if I want to play this first post combat and then play this after to to trigger this twice. I see. I, for some reason, like I see mutate as an ability and not like casting the creature. Right. I think that's where my my confusion is. Unless they have flash, then in case you can mutate, which is also confusing. Uh, yeah, I can get rid of that goose. Uh, let's put the 6-6 six, six on top. You could have drawn two cards. How? Shoot. Oh, from... Yeah. Wait, no, it's when it deals damage. Wow, this is a lot of myths of... Mythos of Nithros. The double strike deals damage twice, right? Oh, you're right. Wow. Mistakes were made, my dude. I'm just gonna pretend I, mean, I drew it now. they may have now. blocked, but... Um, still on top. That's real strong. <coughs> change my, change CMV? Change my viewpoint? Mutated creatures just three slurs in a trench coat trying to sneak into standard. I can't. Pawak, I think it's because it's almost like America itself and all of our systems are not not able to handle what's going on. It's true. And it's terrible. No blocks. This just kills this? Oh, God. It do. It's a fuck. Oh, we drew all four of these? Come on. Hey, Mike, honesty stream. Oh, it's been a while. Honesty stream. Uh, I'll just pay with three. You can do your doo doo doos in the Navy. His name is Michael B. Oh, good gravy. I don't know how you beat this card right now. It's like a 6-6 six, six double strike trample. And I draw cards whenever it deals damage. Use a removal spell on it. <laughs> not in this not not in, the, in this economy, Michael? Serious answers, no jokes. We'll see. Um They're both dying, and then I'd still trample over for Oh, I guess that is. Oh, they're gonna are they gonna go to one and we're gonna regret not uh not attacking with baby Godzilla here. <coughs> By turn seven I drew nine lands. That sounds about right. God 
draw if you another could card? Pick any franchise or artist for MTG to do a collab with for a set, what would be your top three? I already answered this, so. Hmm. First one would be Metal Gear Solid, but only if they use the actual artist. Oh, that would concept. be sick. That's the a good one. The guy does the concept art for M M uh, MGS. Because um, I really like his style. All right, so our deck is already improved. Uh, next one. Hmm. 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 I think they could do some really cool demons and monsters from like Berserk, maybe. That might be a little too small for people to know about though, so they might have to use like a more well knowledge uh, series, but something like that. What did you say, Inuyasha? No, I didn't. That anime is trash. Um, wow. It's actually not that bad. It's just kind of like cheesy, but so maybe like Devil May Cry's demons or something like that, like a. Or like Dead Space, like some kind of game with demons in it, like. I just want a game with demons. Or Doom, Doom, that would probably work really well. Mike was actually talking about he wants to use the art for uh, Death Stranding, and he wants just to have the, the the card art be like containers that you have to ship and, <laughs> and walk and run around with. One would be a ladder. Also, all the cards can't do anything, and you're forced. To <laughs> There's no text box. And you're forced to play with only that set in standard, so nothing actually happens. God damn, that's a that's a good deal. I said Marmaduke out loud. Is that a thing? No, I didn't mean for Kojima to design the cards. I meant for just the art to be done by the dude who does uh, the concept art for Kojima's work. I thought that was your... Wasn't that your dad that did that? It'd be a lot cooler if it was. <laughs> It'd be a lot cooler if you did. Because then at least... Sure, maybe my dad doesn't talk to me, but at least he'd be a cool person, you know? That'd be worse, though, because then you're like, fuck, I wish my dad did talk to me, because... He does some cool shit. I mean, I wish that now, and he's not a cool guy. Per se. I don't know, actually, per se. He might be cool. I don't know. Oh, this thing's uh -huh. got to go. Mike B's dad is Japanese. He is not. He is not. I don't know what my third option would be. I, I really can't pick a third. I don't know. Oh, hi, Mark. In the Navy. Why is in the Navy stuck in my head? Can someone explain to me what I was listening to that like... Oh, what about Resident Evil? They got some cool monsters you can use. You got zombies. I just don't care about them though. That's the problem. You don't? No, not really. Like, eh. My three were Marvel, Star Wars, and um, Roy Lichtenstein, the artist. I don't know that artist. Yes, you fucking do. You just don't know my name. That's possible. Oh, that dude. Okay, I got you. As soon as I saw any of the art, I was like, oh, I know what you're talking right, about. Right, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> oh, wee, Rick! Well, this actually seems good. Hold on. Let's get in there with this guy. Let's mutato up in this piece. Kapow! Uh, under, obviously. I want the big boy on the tippity top. Make a 3-3. Three, three. Draw a card. Oh, oh. rings crossover. That'd be good. Play that brotato next turn. Are these are these salt eyes? What are these? Are oh, these are black still? Yeah, we'll just we'll just play this. I want to keep up mythos. Mythos of Netheroy. It's very much uh, heavens to Murgatroyd. I started watching Mad Men again last night. Is it mad? It's so good. It's like it's so, it's definitely my top five shows. Really? Yeah. God damn. Yeah, that card's gotta go. Yeah, I'm just never letting that resolve. And now we get to attack you for like a million. Oh, we get to put King Caesar on this dude too. Oh shit. Do we? We don't have red, do we? Oh fuck, we don't have red. We don't get to do anything actually. Right? 
Oh, the mutate is black, white, white. Oh, we do have that. Oh, yeah. You got lucky. JK, we got it. Oh, we get to draw two cards? Why was the octopus not in this list, man? That's my... What's your favorite part? The sexism or the racism? Wait, what's that about? Uh... Madden on that, I'm assuming. Oh. <laughs> um... Oh God! It is. There's definitely cringe moments, but I mean that's yeah. The but best. that's that's the part of the, yes. That's part of the culture, right? I, that's what I love about it is that it's so it's authentic a, to the time, and I get to look at it and be like, oh. Yeah, like it's not a show you enjoy because you like the characters. Like that's not. You know what I mean? <clears throat> right. Yeah. No. It's the show's great. Katie, what was your what was your face in response to? Oh wow! I only got I only got two three threes now. I guess I should probably watch that show. And finish it. Mad Men? Yeah, it's real good. I think I've seen two seasons of it. Why did you stop? What's wrong with you? No particular. I think I got a little bored of it. Is it because you don't have Jesus in your life? That was also years ago. So. Yeah, when you didn't have Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. So what we're gonna do is kill this thing. Attack C dash or octopus. What are we gonna get here? Just a red? I don't care. It don't matter. I don't care. It don't matter to the Jesus. It's the only color you don't have, so. Well, you have a stomach ground, so I guess it doesn't matter too much. Put it under. Tuck him under. Draw another card. Get my potato on. Not a bad draw. Both of these are lethal, and you got one card in hand. Take your Arclight Phoenix bullshit and get out. I think he, Go out! I think it was like. I'm gonna make the modern deck, but in standard, and it's just like, nah, I don't think you can, man. Oh. No, I just think, I, it's so funny, because it's such a, like, it's such a Chad deck. Like, it's such a, like, I play the, I play the, the T1 blue, blue red deck with my Argolite Phoenix, and uh, I'm just a big Yeah, but standard, it's not, though, right? I think it used to be, right? I don't know, man. Yeah, it was a different time. Dude, I just, Phoenix. I, Mike, I don't know anymore, man. I just work here, okay? <laughs> It's my job. Well, because you work here, you should know. Oh, yeah, technically, you, well, no. He doesn't mean Spike. Spike is just kind of an arts type of a player. He means Chad because it's like... No, I definitely mean Spike. He's, he's right. I mean Spike. It's like the top tier, like, the grinders, like the super serious players play that, the Arclight Phoenix deck. Or they did, you know? Right, but, like, I think adding the Chad helps because it's just, like, it's just a personality, not necessarily... like It's, the, people... it's like the Chad Spikes. It's the Spiky right. Chads. Cause like you can be a spike and not be a douchebag. <laughs> a DB. All I want to do is have C dash or octopus and King Caesar on top of each other. Okay, that did not come out. <laughs> that was not what I meant. I didn't hear it. So. Oh, that's good. That's good. All right, I'm so we need a green for turn two. So I guess we'll start with that. Apparently, my computer turned on. It turned on. Yeah. How did you know? Uh, Does your I phone tell you when your computer no, turns on? No, because I, I have a, for my work from home thing, I have a little security app on my phone, and every time it logs in, you have to, like, log into the security app. So for some reason, I don't know why my computer does this, but it just, when I put it to sleep, randomly it just turns on. It just comes back to life. And it's super random and weird, and I don't know how to stop it. Is it really random? Yeah, it's Think super about it. to all randoms. To lol? Yeah. I'm sure there's probably some way to fix that. I don't know what it is. Though. It's Got him. mildly annoying <clears throat> though, so. Well, you're mildly annoying. Mike, are you not working from home yet? No, I am. I guess I should have specified my computer at my home turned on, which is where I work from, so. Which is where I work from, Michael. Living in the garbage can. Don't you cry no more. Might get a good uh, SSD and power it down well. I don't really want to spend money on an SSD right now. Why am I, if I cast this, why is it not using the red? Why is it using the Paradise Druid? Like, how's the adjustment been? Uh, I definitely prefer working from home. I hope it just always stays that way. I don't really ever want to go back into the office, even when it would be safe. Like, there's no reason to do my job from an office. There's literally zero downside to doing it from home. Except for, I guess, distractions, which 
aren't really that much of a problem, honestly. Maybe you're not. Dude, I'm starving. I want some pizza. I'll order it, bro. No, it's on. I can't. I'm on the. I'm playing the magical game. This deck's really hard to deal with, just because it's like it. It takes a lot of things to like. <clears throat> Actually, if we just get to drop this next turn, it's pretty good. Which I think we do. Oh, we gotta hit a land though. I guess we don't. Oh, I guess we did. Right? Like we can just tap everything, right? White, white. Do we have two white? Yeah, we got everything. Um, we could also play Baby Yoda here. Is it more important to attack for six, or is it more important to? I think so, right? Like we're gonna go to we're going to six, but then we're gaining four. Yeah, so many office jobs could be done from home. It's just it's really silly. Like there's really no reason to be in an office, other than it's like the thing we do as Americans. Uh, actually, they have Hanged Executioner, so maybe I just hold back because I really don't want them to exile my dude. Yeah. Alright, I wish I didn't take two then. Oh, no, I guess they could have done that anyway. We had to take two because we didn't want to tap this. So, yeah, that's fine. Also, my computer at home is better than the one for my work. So that's good. And I have bigger monitors, so that's even better. Wow, get a little humble brags McGee over here. Get a little Michael with his big monitors. <coughs> I like a girl with hey, a man. big monitor. You're not even close to as big as your one monitor. So. Oh, that's amazing. Wow, that's a hell of a... Wow, that was a hell of a move right there. Yep, that's hard to deal with. Also, it's nice to be, like, done from work and you literally just... You're literally just like your home. You don't have to worry about that. You don't have to go in. You don't have to get dressed. Uh, if you want to take a small break and like sit down on your comfy bed, you can. Like, there's just so many upsides. You can take your breaks whenever you want. Like, and at my company, as long as you're keeping your rate up, which is like I'm not gonna go into it, but it's basically how they track your work. As long as your rate is fine, there's no downside at all, and it's been totally fine. So. God, it's just mono humble brags over here. My work's been totally fine. All right, we're at five. Can a lot of cards. we dodge a buff? Looks like we did. Oh, we're doing it. Put them on top. This one does go on top. I want to see. I want to see Brokos on top of Snapdax. What are these words I think I'm saying? Space Godzilla on top of. Whatever that other and we go back is. up to six, and then we get to attack for a fucking million. Oh my right. god. Draw two. Three baby Godzillas in hand. This is what happens when you put Godzilla on top of someone else, and then you get all the baby Godzillas. That's how inter baby God that's how Godzilla reproduction works. <laughs> you gotta put them on top, and then you make all the babies. Frank, do you ever work from home? This is a good question. I try not to. You know? What is this Sparky doing here? Yeah, we're actually at the Starbucks right now. So. Don't tell people where we are, man. They're going to come stalk us. I didn't us. say which Starbucks. They know. There's only one in the whole state. There's S actually three in this town alone. That's which wild. Which is pretty amazing. That is amazing. Godzilla will be randoing. What is this? Is that a thing? I don't even know what that means. That sounds like you're implying Godzilla is promiscuous. Yeah, there's one on the north side of town, one on the south side, and there's one in the middle inside of a grocery store. <laughs> it's funny because, like... Who needs that many stars? Between the north side and the south side of town is like six minutes by car. I don't know how they're all in business. It doesn't make any sense. Well, Michael, to be honest, I don't know how you're in business, okay? So. That's what I need. I was hoping for a third baby Godzilla in my hand. Anyone employs me? Isn't that insane? It's rough. <laughs> every, day, every day you still have a job, I'm like, one more day. Whew, thank goodness. Well, it's really easy to show up to work on time when you really roll out of bed five minutes before. Yeah, and you have case. you don't have to get ready. You don't have to do. Oh wow, that's rude. I still take a shower in the morning, but I actually do that on company time because you're like I'm gonna clock in, and I'm gonna go take a shower. I, that's literally what I do. I clock don't in. Don't tell take people a that, man. What if your boss is watching? They're not. Wow, that's that's insulting to me. You're being arrogant and insulting in the same breath, Michael. Why is this man going on about the bucks? I mean, because it's that's how conversations work. Sometimes a topic comes up and then you talk about that topic. I don't know. I thought it was pretty obvious. 
I just thought it was an interesting topic to bring up the fact that there's three in a small town. Oh, I agree with you. Remember how many there were in Seattle? <laughs> Sometime I take shower naps at lunch. A shower nap. <laughs> seems Jeez. dangerous. It seems dark, too. I just like to sleep in the shower as the water cascades over my body. Oh, the one time I did meander a little too much and my boss was like, sent me a message like, Hey, you doing okay? I haven't seen any updates in your Oh, wow. That's a yikes, dude. I was like, yeah, i just been on the phone for a long time. So I haven't really got anything done. Genius inventor? I got it all. Yikes. Okay, well, that's not what we're hoping for here. I guess we're just going to play Baby Godzilla about deck over here until we... Come oh, dear God, on. people are having anti-lockdown protests and claiming that the virus needs to be spread? Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, those people are morons. Dangerous morons, though, unfortunately. I am really into current affairs. Get it? Music is current. I don't even know if Frost, what is this? This is the five minute spell that taps two things and you cycle it for one? I guess if you're just cycling it for one. I've fallen asleep in a shower a bunch of times at the very startling way to wake up. Yeah, doesn't seem ideal. It does not. Also, Stick. man, think of the water bill. Oh, we got black, white. No, we don't have it. Oh, this guy, though. I can just cast this dude? Wait, can I? Black. Oh, we don't have a green. We don't have a green for that. We don't have a green for that. We have no green. I drank coffee in the shower one time and had a muffin in there, too. But I left it and forgot it, and there was a mess, and it looked like bad news bears. How do you... Well, that was aren't you going to get shower water in your coffee and all over your muffin? It seems terrible. <laughs> I just... You know, my shower is never long enough where I'm like, I have to drink it now. I'll just drink it when I get out. I need to drink coffee. Oh, I'm talking about any drink, Michael. Built up to this. I don't drink it under the spigot, Mike. <laughs> so what do you like? Put it on the side of the tub and like yeah, stick your ahead. head out and drink it and then come back in, like. Michael, don't be a hater. What's okay. going on here? Let's go to my I turn. Understand. Where's my green source? I found it, but isn't it's the too hot late. water enough to wake you up until you get the coffee? This is too late. We missed like three lane drops here. I've learned not to put your pizza too near the tub. Wow, Kerwit, amazing. Can someone explain the appeal of shower beer? Because like. Does it like, is there like oh, a shower oranges? That's also a thing. Is there like a, is it better in the, I don't understand what the, what the, what the shower brings to it. I guess that, that experience is kind of like, I guess I would assume it has to do with like kind of being in a sauna and drinking a beer. Similar, maybe. Oh dear. What does that do? I don't get that either. I don't understand any of it. Um, yeah, You've never eaten a sandwich in the shower. No, Kurt, I have not. You haven't lived until you've eaten a sandwich in the shower, Michael. I guess I haven't lived yet. You're basically dead inside. <laughs> Drew said the hot shower makes the beer colder. I guess your perception of it does. Maybe you do. Apparently, I gotta try the shower beer thing. You say Drew did? Oh. Oh, okay. Gotcha. 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 Um. You know, old Sea Buster. <laughs> Don't say it. I didn't. I said the acronym. I know what you did. I think we actually incorrectly paid here. We just paid too late when we didn't have to. But magic is hard, and I'm doing a lot of things. So I try not to beat myself up over it, but. Katie said, the warm water with the crisp, refreshing feeling of a hard cider after a long day. Jesus. Katie, is that your fucking advertising pitch? Or <laughs> it does sound pretty good. I do love a cider. I'm all about cider. Where do you see that? Where am I? Where am I What's up? God damn, you guys are really getting in there about this. People really like their shower food. The shower food. I guess that's true. Oh, you didn't come at me, bro. Me and Mike gonna explore the ciders of Denver. Are there like custom ciders there? Wow. Cool. Oh my god, these six to mutate, five to mutate. So we just play this for five. <laughs> oh. 
Cider houses? Whoa. Cider house rules. That's crazy. Yeah, personally, I would always take a cider over a beer. One cider. It just tastes better. One beer. IMO. It's implied. It was implied that it was your MO. Well, you know, someone's going to be like, well, excuse me, I believe in the Pilner brand of blue, 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 Pilner? Blue, blue, blue. I just I, want to say Pilner because it's like a beer term. I don't know. You mean Pilsner? Mean. Pilsner, that's it. <laughs> I was like, is he trolling? What are you killing here? Paranus Yeah, that's fine. Don't care about that. I tried a shower PB and J, it didn't work. Well, that's because you probably ate it under the spigot. You can't, you can't drink it under the spigot. So if I just go Space Godzilla on this, like, we're basically just like. It doesn't make it a 12 12, though, is my problem. You know what I mean? I guess we'll just put this on there instead, and then we get a guy out of it. So Whiskey is better than beer cider? I don't know. It depends. Like, if you're drinking a whiskey, you're going to get. Whiskey? Whiskey? You're going to get pretty sloshed. That's where you can enjoy a cider for a while. Discard a card. I'll discard a forest. I'll discard a card. I'll discard a But I do like whiskey. Discard a card. I'll discard a forest. Discard a card and trigger this guy. Trigger this guy and discard the forest. Take the action, put it in play. Look at all these Godzillas. Look at all these god baby Godzillas. Look at all these baby Godzillas. Godzillas. I got a lot of baby Godzillas. I wonder if the baby Godzillas are worth it. Are worth it? Yeah. What does that mean? In the deck? Oh, they also reduce your mutate That's cost the whole too. point. They, yeah, they uh, reduce yeah. the cost. They're, so they're basically just mana ramps for these fat idiots. Do they do they reduce the cost of everything or just the mutate cost? The mutate cost. If a, if a creature spell you cast costs... Each creature spell you cast costs one less to cast if it has mutate, so okay, it costs so it on the front the and on the mutate. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. That's really, that's pretty good. Because both of them, both of them are casting it, so. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> I'm sure Baby Godzilla doesn't appreciate being told they're not worth it. Are you worth? Are you? Is Baby Godzilla even worth it? <laughs> God damn, Michael, that's cold. That's some cold ass shit. Okay, so if I mutate this on here. Can I... I don't know how this works. Is it the black card or is it a gold card that's trying to kill this? Oh, that's interesting. I don't actually know. If I put it on top, it works? Because then, oh, because then it becomes a black creature? In well, theory? Yeah, then I lose my... What do you lose? I, then I lose my 6-6, six, six, right? Oh, it doesn't... It I guess I could just use this. Yeah, that'll work. And how much does this guy cost? Three? We got that, right? We got Goose, and we got... Oh. What's that 6-6's six, ability? Well, I guess it just sucks because you're putting a 6-6 six, six onto a 6-6, six, six, so it's kind of like losing value. Your mother's losing value. You could have just put it on a bird, right? Michael, just stop it. Mutate is for four now, right? So we have one, two, we don't have it. I could have put it on the bird, but like I want to save it for this guy, so I get them sweet triggers. Do I get in there with this guy? No. Oh. What's that guy's actual ability? Who, this? Yeah. Uh, when you mutate XL a card from the top of your library into XL non land permanent, put it on the battlefield or into your hand. Pretty good. And we get a 3 3 because of the other guy, so. Right, right. Um. Sure. We'll see what happens. Oh, you're killing the baby gods. Okay. Who's the guy that's not Frank Lepore? My name is Mike. Usually referred to as Mike B. Or here, garbage can man. Or garbage can man. I, I live in the trash can. I have many names, but uh, I'm here pretty often. Maybe you're a new viewer, so I understand. Here. No worries. What does this do? Uh, during each return. Oh, oh you can cast these now. That's pretty good. And the birthday meme lives on. Happy birthday, Michael B. Michael B's birthday. He's living his best birthday life. Let's go to my turn. I can't do anything here, right? No, no, no. Common misconception. I'm not the rat train conductor. I just get to call on it often. Send him on down to rat train. Have you ever been outside? Uh, discard card. We'll get rid of it. Druid. Druidas. See, now I'm probably going to kill this lifelinker over here. Uh, yeah, take action for sure. Give me that goose. The goose is loose. Oh, oh, oh. 
We gotta start. We gotta start crushing now. So. Have you ever been to a Turkish prison? Well, I don't. Prison? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Turkish prison. I don't know about Frank, but me personally, uh, yeah, I served a couple years. <laughs> I did a stint, as well, it were. Not as bad as they, as they make it out to be. Yeah, it's really overblown. A Turkish prison. Okay, so we're gonna do a block here. Uh, the double block on you. So two on you. I'm at 14. I'll just chump block you. You guys got trample? Oh, you do get trample. Fuck. I'll just uh, I'll just do a little diddle 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 diddle. Wow, he just got aggressive. Fine, I'll take eight here. Mike B did a nickel in Turkey. See, Crow knows. One space nickel. For Mike the Garbage Man, I got a YouTube clip. I don't think that does anything. I think we're gonna just put Biocourt Bio Space Godzilla on this gilded gilded goose. Uh, over please. Attack with these jobbies. In the air! Look at that, Gilded Goose is flying, gives Biocourt's Space Godzilla flight. What is- that's my- that's the sentence of the day right there, my dudes. Man, check that YouTube. <laughs> Bitch, I live in a trash can! I turn on Sesame Street, I say, oh, whew, Sesame Street this is much better, because now he'll learn how to count and spell. But now I'm watching it as an adult. Oh my god, this is too long. I'm gonna get demonetized. I'm gonna close it. Dave, Ma Dave Chappelle, I'm so sorry. I almost said Dave Matthews. <coughs> yeah, those those are a little different. Slightly different artists. Basically the same. I love that someone responded when I made a joke about going to Turkish prisons and no he didn't, like I was being serious. Where? <laughs> Patrick Thank Mahomes, you, you idiot. <coughs> Ryperk, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back to the rad train. Oh I don't I want to mulligan this hand. Unless that was a joke. What was a joke? Could have been a joke. You're a joke. That's true. Got him. I don't deny that. How could you? How could you? Well, I mean, I could. I'm gonna actually, I think Goose is worse than second this thing. <laughs> no joke, serious dream. Remember that time I was like, we were talking about your name and you're like, yeah, now I feel bad about it because I kind of like him. You can't play anything? Wait, no, we can, we can play the both Paradise Druids. Is he yeah. drunk? I think he might be. God, I hate it when he gets like this. I was like, oh, did you keep a non-green? And I'm like, no, I got the I got the teamer land. I don't know what he's talking about, what he's talking about man. Ooh. Oh wow. That's aggressive. Yeah, but now you just pitch three cards? Yeah, I don't oh. understand. I mean, I feel like it's good if you can take advantage of a one turn and draw some things, but mm, no. Now you're just in top deck mode? I don't know, man. Do we octopus here or do we just play the other paradise druid? That's a good question. I don't know, man. I think we're just gonna play the Paradise Druid. That Kerwitz been to Japanese prison. Japanese prison? Mm hmm. God damn, dude. But also, like, they draw one card. If it's not a spell, you're just like. You're just like boned. Because I feel like if there's anything in Japan that was done, Kerwitz has done it. No, he hasn't. <laughs> God dang. How'd you know? Oh, alright, you drew that, now you get to draw two. But now you have two lands. Two. But then, like, all these cards just go away. I don't understand. Alright. No, this is gone, right? Oh, you took two, so you're probably gonna play it. I, mean, I guess, in theory, it's a good top deck, but... I don't like it at all. You but see, cards, like, but, but you're tapped out, away. so yeah, right? Like, I don't, go. I don't understand. I'm really confused. Like, I feel like unless you can abuse it and go off right away, it's just not worth it. So we got a red. We got a white. We got a black. All right. We're going to actually King Caesar this fat idiot. Wait, what's happening? How are they untapping this thing? Oh, with this actual stony strength. Sure. So you have one more mana. This is a combo? What's happening right now? Are they comboing out of this? I don't even know what's going on. 
Oh, this guy gets haste? That's pretty good. Shh. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! Mow. I mean, I guess if they have ways to untap their guys, it's pretty Shut good. up! He's so loud. He really is, man. This is wild, man. Wild man. <laughs> All right, you got two red. I guess if they they're trying to draw another another claim. The firstborn. All right, they're just done. That that was their turn. Okay. I guess that was counterproductive. I guess they got to play two four fours. Take my money. Oh, I'm taking so much money. Oh, little man, Mao. <laughs> oh, thanks, little man. I appreciate that. All right, so we need what? Oh, we need two white, don't we? So we actually have no way to make two white outside of these. So that's unfortunate. Combo is bad in arena. I had an infinite combo in arena and with a kill on board, but timed out. Yeah, that'll happen. Or we could do four and then put the dasher on top of it, right? We could do that. God, can you imagine doing the four horsemen loop on on Magic Online? Stop! Biscuit! Run! God! He's like, he's, he's doing a little scratch. Alright, well that was a good hit. I just hope it's a basic land. Just be a boring-ass land. Oh, it was not a land. Mike so. B, I have some salami for your mommy. What's the best <laughs> way to get to her? Hey man, she's social distancing, okay? She's social she's 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 my turkey's precious. <laughs> Oh, they just mill themselves and then play Thassa's Oracle? That's fascinating. Thassa's fascinate. That's fasc fascinating. I don't. I can't do anything. Oh, they here. didn't actually win. No. I've got those. <laughs> See, this is funny. This is a good clip. Here. Salami simulacrum. Here, Hunter. He's yep. got the salami for your mommy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just one of my gems, you know. No biggie. Oh, Jesus. That is a fine, 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 fine. Sausage distancing does save lives. That's true. Yeah, they got their underworld breach. Okay. Oh, my God. That was loud. That was really loud. I think it was... I think it made the noise for everyone. So, so it was just like... like Bah. Yeah, it was just like 20 noises stacked on top of each other, so it... I feel like they can win from here, right? Well, I have 19 cards in their library. I don't know what they can do. This card, this deck's weird. I guess they're just trying to draw their deck in Thassa's Orb on me. Was that the THQ sound? Yeah. Well, no, that's obviously their plan, for sure. Also, that doesn't work if they have an odd number of cards, though, right? I don't know, man. I'm just watching it happen. Guys, get your Fabro Elders now. I guess, I guess they're now. either going to win or they're going to lose. <laughs> that's literally every game of Magic ever, Michael. Yeah, but like... No, that's what I'm Because I've got Michael B in my pocket. Is the other Mike B hanging out a cigarette? He's hanging out a cigarette? Yeah. What does that even mean? Oh, sorry, flicking off a cigarette. Well, yeah, because hanging out a cigarette isn't a <laughs> thing that you can do. That's not a thing human beings do. Hey, you guys want to hang out a cigarette? You what? don't know me. I do that all the time. Sense doesn't even make any sense. What does this guy say? What is the what is the wording on it? They have to... Stop, I'm done. They have to cast another one, right? Right. It's not like Lab Man. It's, it's not like Lab Man. <laughs> it's not like Lab Man. Everyone calls him Lab Man. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know. I mean, they obviously have another one in their deck somewhere, so. Jesus, is this Lab is... Mani Maniac legal? This is so... I think so. This right? is so cumbersome. It's no, it's not. They're just using this. They have Jace. The new Jace is legal. Oh, how many cards? One card in your library? Oh, you got, got it. 
They just lost because they drew two cards off of casting the Thassa's That's Oracle. That's what I was worried about, yeah. Wow! <laughs> yeah, this combo doesn't work unless you set it up right. Oh, man. Yeah, by set it up right, you mean you have to have three cards in your library instead of one. Right. Even two would have done it. The only way you have to set it up wrong is if you have one card in your library instead of two, three, or any other number. Oh, Lord. That's incredible. Solid combo. Yeah, that's probably why you should play Jace as well. Yeah, you really want a secondary win condition there. Either way, that was a great final round for this deck. This deck has been sweet so far. Uh, I love Brokus. I love Ghidorah. I like how I said one Godzilla name and one Ikor Ikoria name. I love Nethroi, Heavens to Nethroi, Mythos to Nethroi. And then we got Trumpeting Gnar, King Caesar, Dirge, Bad, Seed, Dasher. This this card is MVP because being able to trigger your mutates for two mana or one mana if you have a Godzilla is just actually very, very good. And the card draw is pretty nuts too. So, um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe on the segment on twitch.tv slash frank4, patreon.com slash frank4, michaelb slash michaelb slash michaelb.com slash michaelb. And uh, Cool Stuff Inc. and Mana Traders. Links and promo codes down in the description below. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, guys. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.